One of the things I love to do with progressions is help us figure out what time it is in your life. Progressions are a predictive or a timing tool. Um, now, timing in astrology does sometimes get a bit of a weird or a bad rap. I promise you that doing forecasting astrology, it's not using a dirty word in any way, shape or form. Doing timing with astrology is one of the most effective ways that we can help support our clients. It's also a really effective way to help us understand our own cycles, the influences that we might be dealing with at any given time. Uh, and so it's an excellent uh, predictive astrology of all kinds, not just progressions and not just the progressed sun, because um, there's, a, of course, there's a lot of timing techniques you can use. This is just one of them, but it's a fun one. It's really accessible. And you'll see how working with the progressed sun can help show you some of the most pivotal turning points um, that people might be dealing with in their lives. So I like to start with a little bit of a quote um, from Nietzsche when I'm doing some of my timing work. And this quote is, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. And what this quote is kind of alluding to is the idea that if we know why something's happening, if we can understand how long something might be happening for, if we can get a sense of the symbolism or the meaning or the purpose of any given time in our life, whether it's a good time or a really stressful time, having that perspective makes it so much easier for our human psyches to deal with whatever the circumstances are. And this is one of the things that I think predictive astrology really offers is it's the ability to create perspective or context on life events, which reframes and gives us almost like a meta perspective about how to navigate whatever it is we might be dealing with. So we do get to offer perspective and insight, and we're going to use the astrolog astrological factors and symbols to help us do that. And as I mentioned, we're going to provide tips around timing, so we will be doing some forecasting, but it's not something to be afraid of. One thing that we're going to keep in mind as we go today is a concept that I love working with, a philosophical concept I love working with in the context of the technique of progressions, which is considering the idea of light. Now, we often think about um, light from an electrical or a manufactured perspective in our modern lives, or we turn on a light switch and there is sort of the hard light of electricity there literally lighting up our spaces. But there is also this idea of celestial light, which is softer, but tends to speak to more of the soul or the inner landscape part of our chart. So celestial light is a little bit like the energy or the rays of the planets that might emanate through the cosmos. And celestial light becomes the animating force that moves our psyche or our innermost parts. Now, if the sun is the center of our solar system, uh, we could symbolically consider it's also the center, it is the center of our chart as the prime source of light. And so when we're doing work around the progressed sun particularly, we're looking at how the light, the quality of the sun's light is changing over the course of our lifetime. So we're going to be bringing movement into the sun in the natal chart to see how it's progressing or moving. And then we're going to use different symbols like the signs or the planets to help give us some clues as to the changing quality uh, or nature of the light that the sun is expressing. So a quick progressions 101 to get us started before we dive into our work on the progressed sun. Secondary progressions is the technical type of uh, technique we're using now. And this technique uses a day for a year timing ratio. And what that means is we're having a look at the transits or the real time movements of the planets on a particular day of your life. And we're, cor we're correlating it to the corresponding year of life. So, for instance, if we know that there was a new moon when you were 11 days old, then we would say that by progression, that new moon energy influences you when you're 11 years old. So it's a bit of a weird symbolic concept. It seems quite strange to our modern minds. 
and don't you know you don't have to be sort of afraid of that if you like um, the the symbolic timing concept of secondary progressions does sometimes throw us off um, to our modern mindset which thinks in quite a linear sort of a leads to b uh, mindset but this idea of a short unit of time connecting to or having some correspondence with a longer unit of time is actually an ancient concept there are references to it in the Old Testament in the Bible where they talk about, you know, for 40 days certain things have happened and therefore for 40 years there will be a corresponding uh, situation. And so the idea here is we're linking a short unit of time with a longer one to get that sense of meaning or purpose. One of the things that I love and that really drew me to secondary progressions when I first learned about them was just how personal they are. Um, and what I mean by that is if something is happening in your progress chart, it's very much happening for you and for you alone. So these cycles, um, personally, I think they can be a little bit more individual, if you like, than things like transits. I know we connect transits to our individual charts, but the type of progressions that you might be going through are not necessarily the types of progressions that anyone else will be going through. Now, as far as we can tell with the translation works that we have already, the topic of or the technique of secondary progressions became very popular in the 1600s. Um, and the person who popularized the technique is, was Placidus, who many of you know because he also created a house system. And so there are a couple of possible references to secondary progressions that are older, much older than that, but we just don't have enough um, good quality translations to confirm that. So that's about as far back as we know for sure secondary progressions go. So I often say they're sort of a relatively modern timing technique as far as we know at this point in time. And basically what we're saying is all the movement of the planets in the sky but also through your chart in the first 90 days of your life are going to give us all the progressed activities or actions or aspects that affect you for the next 90 years. So, you know, if something happens on day 21 of your life, it's going to have a corresponding influence on year 21. So there's you know, there's a lot you can try to mull around with secondary progressions, depending on whether you're familiar with them already or not. Um, you can try and wrap your head around the sort of very weird symbolic timing link that they're using. You could sort of understand this is what they're doing. You don't have to fully wrap your head around it to use the technique. So as long as you have a sense of it and you feel like you've got enough to dabble, that's usually enough to get you started.